I'm so thrilled you would come here. Thank you. Are you kidding? I grew up watching your movies. I <laughs> love it. That makes me so happy. I like light, happy movies. And you have a romantic comedy out right now at midnight, which we're going to get into in a minute. But <laughs> you were doing Rock of Ages with... <sighs> I mean, I freak out for Tom Cruise. But is it true that you do an impression of Tom? <laughs> yeah, yes. Will yeah. you do one, please? <laughs> true. Listen to me. You complete me. Oh, my God! <laughs> I love that! You worked with him on Rock of Ages, and I was studying the fact that, like, you guys had to play guitar. Yeah, you know, it was, it was crazy. So uh, it was the table read, and I thought it was going to be a, a small table read. Because that, you know, Rock of Ages was my first movie. And they asked me... <laughs> and uh, the prop master asks me, hey, David, do you want to play guitar at the table read? And I just learned how to play guitar. Okay. And I go, yeah, sure, Chris. Yeah, 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 for sure. And I walk in, and it's a room with 100 people, Microphones. Oh God. They're like, we want you to sing all the songs. It was like a show and tell. And then I look over my left, sh my left shoulder, and Tom walks out in character after being in the chair for four hours. As Stacy Jacks. As Stacy Jacks, tattoos, shirtless, <laughs> the band behind him. I look over my right shoulder, and Alec Baldwin is so nervous he can't even highlight his own lines. <laughs> and I'm just going, yeah, for sure, I'm going to get fired. So the time comes, and I play Don't Stop Believing. And Tom, who's sitting two chairs to my right, stands up. So he's like, you're learning how to play guitar. I'm learning how to play guitar from the same coach. Let's do jamming sessions. And I'm thinking, yeah, sure, man. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Let's do jamming sessions. That night, he calls me up. I'm watching Game of Thrones. Unknown number is like, Diego, it's Tom. Jamming sessions come up to my penthouse. And then after, he's like, look, man, here's everything I wish I knew when I was 20 years old. If it's cool with you, and only if you're cool with it. Like, you know, I'd love to tell you what I learned from Newman and Dustin Hoffman. And, and I'm just going, like, what, are you kidding me? Like, like yeah, uh, yeah. And I, you know, for like a week, we would have jamming sessions. He was like, let's just call them jamming sessions. No one needs to know about this. And he, like, mentored me, like, throughout the whole movie. Well, that's why we love Tom Cruise, yeah. you know? Yeah. All right, you, you star in this uh, wonderful new rom-com, um, At Midnight, um, and I've been watching it, and, well, we have a clip, so let's take a look together. Oh, God, is that Adam? Oh, it is, uh, it's the cute guy who saw you naked. Uh, by the, I, I did not see her naked. Yeah, no, I've heard everything. <laughs> I thought it was your day off. Uh, yeah, well, it, it was, but I was called in for a last-minute meeting for a committee that I oversee, and um, I'm an overachiever. Well, it's good to see you. It's good to see you. Okay, I feel like I could totally set up what this movie is about, but I also realize that you, you are here. So will you tell us what this movie is about? The movie is about Sophie Wilder played by Monica Barbara, who's in Top Gun 2 and killed it. Yeah, that's right. And she's an actress. Yeah, she's a big actress. She's a huge movie star. Big movie star, shooting a superhero movie. Uh, and her boyfriend... Of like five years. Of five years, uh, cheats on her. But they have to pretend to still be together because they're like the Hollywood it couple. Right. And, for marketing purposes and to promote the movie. And then uh, they go to Mexico to finish shooting the movie, mm -hmm. to the Riviera Maya, close to Cancun and Tulum and all these beautiful beaches. And uh, they all go and stay in this hotel and she meets Alejandro, played by me, mm -hmm. who's the junior hotel manager. And after that, we can only meet at midnight because I can't get caught running around with a hotel guest. Nor can she. And she can't get caught. And also I wanted it to be a love letter to Mexico. I'm from Mexico City and I feel like, you know, most of the stories coming out of Mexico have to do with narcos and drugs and it's a sad reality, but it's not everything that we have to offer. I you know? couldn't agree more. And speaking of, is it true you speak Spanish and Portuguese? Yes. Um, so will you take us out in this clip? Would you prefer to do it in Spanish or Portuguese? I love both. I'll do it in, in, in Portuguese. It's my favorite. Oi, amigos, eu sou Diego Boneta. 
a meia-noite sai amanhã no Paramount Plus. Beijos! Beijos! Thank you, Diego, Monita, por coming here.